My name's Jerome Castro, 32 years old. Grew up in Rosemead, California. I've always been involved in art since I can remember. Like, I still remember as a kid doing finger paints. <laughs> That's that would be the first thing. But it's always been my life. Everything, the way I see the world, colors, dimensions, experiencing, and being able to use art to express myself. Memorial paintings, I started that at the end of 2011, just about in December 2011. My favorite materials to use would be acrylic paint. Uh, I love using acrylic paint. I love the way it dries, the, that rubbery, plasticky kind of uh, effect that it gives. I started the memorial paintings. Uh, I was going through a really hard time in my life uh, with a family member. And, you know, for me, I, as a person growing up, I've gone through a lot in my life, and I went through depression as as a you know 18 to 18 to 21 so for me having that going through a hard time with a you know rel relative i i didn't want to go through that again i didn't want to feel that again so i uh had i thought to myself what is a better way to deal with this and the better way was to focus out instead of focusing in and what I did was I wanted to focus out on people that I love and people that I cared about. So I had 10 8x10 canvases that were just blank. And I decided to think outside the box. And I made a list of 10 people that I knew that had lost a loved one to death. And I thought to myself, what would be the best gift that I can give this person? And what is the best way to fulfill my vision as a person? And so what I did there was I would figure out a way to get a hold of a picture of that person, of that loved one, without them knowing. I get my paints, I get the canvas ready, I get the picture, I'm able to see what I'm going to do. And then I take a deep breath, I'll medicate outside, I exit the space for a second. When I come back, I'm able to tap into a different level of consciousness to be able to let that person paint what they want to look like. I know I'm finished with the painting when I'll, I'll feel it inside my heart, in my soul. Like I can just take a deep breath and breathe. When I'm when I'm painting, it's I'm in a mode. I'm in a it's just nonstop. I, I won't stop until it, I'm finished. And when I know I'm finished, it's like it's like a voice telling me, "Okay, let go." And then I can I can let go of that energy that I'm putting towards this painting. And then I would randomly stop by their house. And within 20 minutes in the conversation, without them really understanding what's going on, I'd hand them a gift. And I would give it to them face down. So even when they opened up the painting, they would be able to open it and they still had to turn it around. And when they turned it around, it was that moment right there where I would be able to see that relationship that person had with that loved one. And to have that gift for them. Allowing the, my loved ones to heal their relationships so that they won't live a life of regrets and guilt. I made a list of 10 people that I was going to do, and so far I've done 28 and still going. And by doing it, realizing that this is my one of my purposes in life is to do the memorial paintings for people because my vision is to heal my world. I, I don't believe I can heal the whole world, but I, I believe that when I die and leave this earth, I will dent my world.